Opening statement, left out. Mm -hmm. We uh, won six to four. <laughs> Empty net goal. It was a nice hockey game. Uh, you know, we uh, we got behind, made some mistakes in the first period. Got behind three to one. Got it back to three two. Had a good second period. Obviously, got ahead four to three. Power play got us a couple goals. Um, the third, first shift of the third period, we swore to make it 5-3. So um, that's pretty good. Uh, we get stuck, we had used our timeout um, for the five on three power play. We didn't score on that, but before they were able to get settled in, we scored five on four. So I guess it was a, turned out to be a reasonable use of the timeout because we got shorts, he got a power play goal. And then, um, you know, so we couldn't call timeout. We had some tired players there. We gave him the fourth goal, and obviously Steven Swing he scored the empty netter. So that's what happened. Questions? Coach, talk about that front line. We got like four or five of those goals. Uh, why do you think they're working so well together? Easy, friendly, sure. Well, uh, they have talent. And if they're playing hard and moving the puck, making simple plays, supporting each other, little five-foot passes, and uh, getting into open positions, and the guy finds them at exactly the right time. Uh, that's that's why they're good, you know. Talent helps, and talent that works hard um, generally is pretty effective. How important the threat was a BT goal at the end of the period just to get you within 3-2? You know, well, there's, there's no question it was important, but, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, if we hadn't scored then, Larry, uh, we would have needed to score another time. And at the end of the day, you know, our players played their tails off. Were they perfect? No, of course not. They made their share of mistakes and everything else, but they made a boatload of great plays. And so if VC hadn't scored, for me, I was confident that we would have found another way to score at another time, on another play, another player, doesn't matter. And if these guys feel like that, we've got a good chance to win every night. Question for Sue Hansen. Yeah, you guys don't always play the same line, but obviously tonight you guys would have something more. What was it about tonight, that combination where you did it for so well? Um, well, I think it starts it starts off the ice. We're, we're pretty close buddies off the ice, and I think that helps translate on the ice. Um, I, we both like to read off each other. I don't know. Like chemistry is a tough thing to kind of explain. Sometimes you get, you get two good players, it just doesn't work out, and sometimes it just does. And uh, we enjoy playing with each other. We, have, we, read, we read off each other, and, and Nolan Bees played a great game too. I mean, it's, it's not just us two. The, he rounded the lineup very nicely there. How about your, your goals? What were the uh, power play goal? It looked like it didn't look like it was a screen. It looked like you just put it up over the goalie. He small anyway. He dropped down. Yeah. And then the fifth goal too. The the fourth one, I think. I think from what I remember, Blaine Byron definitely caused something. I don't know if it was a, a perfect screen, but I think he caused some traffic. Uh, it was towards the end of the power play. We had the five yeah, on three yeah. that we didn't score on, and then uh, I guess we kind of got him scrambling and. Just threw a puck on that and, and then they're going in. And then the uh, the fifth goal for our team was was uh, I was just the beneficiary of two great plays. Stephen uh, got the puck in deep, and then we won his own battle. And then and Nolan made a made an unbelievable pass, and uh, that that one felt good to to get a two goal lead that early in the third. Except for that fourth goal, we playing shoot up the whole time. It looked like it kind of missed the line late, but actually fired on a goal. Uh, you wheeled out the court with it. When I, when I was wheeling out, I, I wanted to shoot it. Yeah. That's a good thing, by the way. <laughs> Steven, just a few thoughts on the game. You know, again, first period, it seems like it's the third straight game against New Hampshire. You fall down, you fall behind by two goals. But battle back, what uh, what did you have to do after that first period to sort of get back on track and uh, you know, climb back in and take the lead? Yeah, I mean, we knew coming in that New Hampshire was Maine, New Hampshire. It's a rivalry. No, not one team's 
not going to come ready to play. Uh, I mean, it was going to be could be back and forth. It, it could go anywhere. It's it's uh, it's one of the best rivalries, the rivalries in college hockey. And after they, I think, scored three straight, we just kind of kept kept it together on the bench and stayed positive and said we get the second one when we take off from there. And that's exactly what we did. That was a big big goal at the end of the period by no one just to get you within. Oh, absolutely. Not only the big goal is a big goal for our power play kind of confidence booster there. Uh, like from the moment I guess I was recruited here, you hear about me and you and H, and they're uh, they're a fun team to play against. I, I just I enjoy it. I enjoy the rivalry and the emotion of the game. I think you, you don't. I think the points might be like a little little bit of a coincidence. I don't know. I don't think about that stuff too much. But it's, they're just a fun team to play against. And, there's there's mutual hatred and then there's also mutual respect and both uh, both arenas are, are pretty wild when when we play against each other so uh, you just want to be a part of it as best you can.